Dum 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 We are on the roof in the dead of night. We must sneak into the chimney. Clash hats. Initiate. Let me try that again. Clash hats. Initiate. Third time's the charm. No one will see us. Clash hats. Initiate. Clash hats. Deactivate. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 Target. Gabor, headmaster. Activity, bathing. Clothing, not available. Secret passage. Getting rupees. Target. Zelda's room. Hey everybody, I'm Pal, but you, you can call me Paladin, that I got that backwards, and welcome back to another Pal Plays Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we got two side quests done, and we got pretty much all, most of the stuff that we need to get done in Skyloft done, and this episode, we just broke into Zelda's room. Previously, it had been locked, so you have to go through the chimney to get it, get into here. But here is Zelda's room, and here is, let me show you, we have 54, what, uh, say hello to the last scattered gratitude crystal. You no longer have to worry about that. We now have 55, and there are 80 in total, so we don't have that many side quests left. Now, you might think that you're done here, so you can leave, but first... You want to check her wardrobe, and inside is a piece of heart. Yet another piece of heart. And that completes another heart container. So we are three quarters done with getting all the hearts. Actually, no, we're more than that, because we have a life medal. So we're uh, 16 twentieths, which simplifies to... Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it simplifies to. So we are actually done in the night here. So you can go ahead and wait until daytime. And we actually have two side quests to knock out this episode, possibly. Uh, they it all depends on whether or not they're going to activate. Oh, also, cool fact: in Zelda's room, she has a picture of herself and her father. But also, she has a plushie of Tingle. And it looks like Tingle's crying blood, which is creepy. But yeah, she has some stuff here. Oh, also, if you want to read her diary, she will be none the wiser, and you can do that. Yes, Link can actually read. This is Zelda's journal. One of the entries is unfinished. Read the entry? Read it! Tomorrow's the big day, the wing ceremony. Finally, Link can take, the, take a, bed, a big step towards becoming a knight. I can't wait to see him promoted to full knighthood, but I'm a little worried that he might have some trouble winning the race. Lately, Link hasn't taken his flight training seriously. Someone needs to make sure he doesn't mess up his chance. So I've made up my mind. Tomorrow, I'll wake him up extra early and make sure he gets in one, uh, gets in some last minute practice, whether he likes it or not. He has to win, or we, or we won't be able to perform the closing ceremony together. <laughs> AKA, or I won't get to push him off a cliff. Because that's that's what she does for kicks. And there are no rupees in her bookshelves. And you know what? We're not going to break that, because that'd leave evidence that we are here. So, that's it for Zelda's room. Onward to whatever else we need to do. Uh, the first thing, actually... Snap. I'll be right back. Uh, we want to go to... Peter and, uh, and Beatrice's house in the nighttime, so I'll be right back. I made a mistake. Sorry about that. And we're here. We can go ahead and talk to Peter, but first let's talk to, uh, 
Beatrice. See what she has to say. Hello, darling. Welcome. Oh, look at her blush. Whoa. Her, she's literally glowing. That is scary. Uh, wow. You've come to see me at home. I'm so happy. She's literally glowing. Like, look, look at that. It's like strobing. Her blush is strobing. That's really creepy. I'm genuinely freaked out by that. Let's talk to her father, which looks like he has some... Either he has really bad sunburn, or that's just like a sleeve thing. Howdy, Link. You picked a good time to visit. <laughs> Daughter? <laughs> why? What do you mean, why? This is important. My little girl's in trouble. Yep, the shine and star of the item check is the source of my problem. That, uh, that's my darling, darling daughter, in case you forgot. She's been out of sorts lately. She's been sitting and staring off yonder, and then she got, she'll get redder than a tomato on a vine. I, I agree with you on that analogy. Wait, um, wait just a minute. I know what's going on. My sunshine's got herself an unwanted an admirer. Not that I can blame the feller. She's as sweet as honey and twice as, as purdy as a spring flower. Nope, three times as purdy. It's no wonder the boys buzz around her like a swarm of amorous bees. I, I sh should have said buzzers. Buzzers. Amorous buzzers. But I won't stand for it. No way. No, ha uh, no way, no how. I'm going to find the rascal and give him a good whipping. You got to help me out. You see anyone buzzing around my little flower... And you give him what for and send him packing. I'll keep my peepers peeled too, but I can't stand watch all day long. So he's asking us to to stalk her. Guess you could say that we're stalkers. I promise I'll make it worth your while. You chase the varmint off, and I'll let you chat with an, with the apple of my eye. Hush, you don't have to say a word, but I can see how I can see how you feel by the spark in your eye. There's not a feller alive who wouldn't jump at this trance. Ease this old man's heart and get rid of the low life that's who's pestering my baby girl. I'm counting on you, Link. Okay, and actually that accent is perfect for him. I love my accent for him. Also, your eyes are creepy. Look at him. Look at you. He's just like, eh, 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 eh. man, you're shifty, creepy man. Okay, uh, just like with last, uh, with the uh, Colin. Colin's letter quest. I will show both branches of this. And let's see, I'm not sure which the official branch should be. I personally think that we should reject her. Though I don't know. Both both branches kind of bring a little bit of pain into her life. But uh, I'm kind of torn. Because if you think about it, if we say that we like her and that we're going to marry her, she's just going to see us with Zelda and think that we're cheating. And also Zelda will see us and think that we were uh, we we're hitting on another girl while she was gone. But if we turn her down, you know that kind of that might spoil her on boys for like 20 years. So I don't know. Ugh. Okay, let's look at it analytically. Okay, let's count. The fact that she would think that we're cheating on her when she sees us with Zelda as negative one. And then let's see Zelda's perspective as thinking that we are cheating on her on her by talking to Beatrice as another negative one. So that would be negative two. Now, with Beatrice, us quote, quote unquote spoiling Beatrice on guys, that's a negative one, if not a negative two. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I used to be indecisive, but now I'm not sure. <sighs> I think that we're going to turn her down. I just think that's the best option. Uh, yeah, we're going to turn her down. Actually, you know what? No. We're saying that we like her. Well, depending on how she words it, we'll say that we like her because she's a nice girl. She's she's just she's a nice girl, so we'll say that we like her, and let her assume. I think then, then when it doesn't work out, Link will be like, "Well, I never said I'd marry you." 
I just said that I liked you. And she'll be like, oh, okay, bro. Okay. Hello, darling. Welcome. You've come to see me at home. I'm so happy. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing what we... Let's talk to him real quick. Okay, so I'm guessing that we're supposed to talk to her at the item check. So let's do that. And we're going to say... We're going to say that we like her. I just think that's the best option. I think because it makes her happy if she says that if she says will you marry me i'll say no but depending on her wording i think that i might go run with it yeah i think yeah okay now actually this episode is a kind of a special episode no it's not going to be yet an uh another long episode because we the last two episodes have been long it's it's special because it's episode 40 <laughs> And I didn't announce it back when it happened, but we're, we are uh, halfway through the game. Over halfway through the game. Um, we just have one more upgrade to the sword, and then we have some more, and then... I won't spoil it for you guys, but let's just stick with the story that we're halfway through. And I'm happy, because that means, you know, there's more to come of Pal Place. Also, everybody's watching us. Well, except him. Gonzo is one of my favorite characters. Because he's just so cool. Oh, by the way, we have some business with him, so we'll take that up in a second. Okay, let's talk to her. Oh, boy. Hello, darling. Um, I, uh, I want you to visit me at... Oh, my... Uh, really? We just... Uh, I want you to visit me at my house tonight. I have something I need to say. My house is just next to the ba bazaar. You'll definitely come, right? I'll be waiting. <laughs> uh, oh, and do you have something? No, I actually don't. Look, hun, it, it's not humane to tease someone this bored. Knock it off, okay? I think it's only fair that I give her a similar accent to her father. She's kind of creepy, too. Okay. Let's actually talk to Gonzo, because all the time I spent in the night, last episode, and between last episode and this episode, I got, like two or three more monster claws and another chew jelly or uh, jelly blob so we can upgrade our shield for 100 rupees yeah and also I need to check in with beetle because he we have a lot of money and it'd be a waste to just get keep earning money with nowhere to put it so yeah I was I was mentioning um episode 40 we pro I'm guessing we have maybe 30 episodes left maybe so that's pretty neat we're not upgrading the bow so yeah we have around 30 episodes left which is exciting where are we going oh yes uh, let's see this door I think this opening so I'm I'm really happy also at the end of this episode, we're going to go see a uh, uh, Batro. No, this is the wrong entrance. But we're going to go see Batro to reap in the spoils. And I didn't mean to do that. So I'll meet you at the Pete family. I'm calling them that. The Pete family at, in the nighttime. So we can talk to Beatrice and see what she has to say. Be right back. Okay, let's see what she has to say. Oh man, your your cheeks are actually she's like Pikachu. <laughs> uh, Beatrice Chu. I I don't know. Let's talk to her. Oh boy, what is she gonna say? Link, you came to see me. Thank you. The truth is, there's something I'm just dying to get off my chest, Link. I'm just going to ask you something point blank, okay? What do you think about me? You store items, which is horribly mean. And I like you. Which, to be fair, I like her. She's she's a sweet kid. You do? Really? You're not lying? Lying, actually. That's horrible again. Really? I, I do like her. Also, question. Why does this cutscene show us as being shorter than her? We're like at her shoulder level. Also, you can see how she's forming her hands in the shape of a heart. 
I'm so happy. I just feel like I'm in a dream. I have to hear it again, just to be sure. Do you really, really, really like me? Uh, sorry. No, I do. It makes me sound like I'm doing wedding vows. You're not lying, are you? I don't know what I'd do if, uh, if I found out you're lying. It's true. <laughs> Thank you. I love you so much, darling. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I said I like you. I didn't say I love you. I said I like you. I'm sorry I doubted you and put put you through all that questioning. But I understand your true... Oh! But I understand your true feelings better than you know. You're say saying that you cannot give yourself over to love just yet. That you have much, uh, much more important things to do right now. You have, you have some kind of serious job you must, you have to attend to first, right? If you weren't off on an, on an adventure, you probably wouldn't need to come by the item, item check so often. And that's why I won't ask any more of you. I'll just watch over you, protecting you from afar, and keeping a vigilant eye on your items. And when your important work is done, we'll tell my dad. Um, we'll tell my dad we're in love. Until then, we'll keep our love secret. Darling, I... I want to see you again... I'll see you again... Uh, ah. I... I'll see you again at the item check. And we get the, I, the gratitude crystal from her. Got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of purest gratitude in crystallized form. It must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. Yes, it does. Unless they think we're going to marry them. Let's talk to her again real quick. I'm glad you told me how you feel, darling. I'll uh, see you at the sh I'll see you soon at the shop. Uh, let's talk to Peter. No. That you, Link? What seems to be the problem? My babe girl's as restless as restless as a twisted sheet in the wind. Is there something in the water? <laughs> you have nothing cool to say. Also, oh, I thought he was actually he he does have a high hairline. Wait, really? You, no wonder. I, I wonder where she gets her influence. Look at the patch on his knee. Look at the other patch on his knee. Hearts, my friend. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna leave him alone because he c still creeps me out. Cause just look at his eyes. He knows. He knows what we said to his daughter. Oh no! He's reaching for a sword. Run! Where's the door? <laughs> In all fairness, I actually need to go till daytime. So, actually, you know what? Our next stop is actually the Lumpy Pumpkin to see if we can do something. And if we can't do that thing, then actually, I'll meet you back here because that's pretty much it for the episode. So... I'll be right back. Oh, actually, you know what? I want to show you something at the Lumpy Pumpkin anyway. So, I'll be right back so I can show you that. So, uh, here we are at the Lumpy Pumpkin, which this music is, is really nice. I'm not sure how to describe it, but quirky, clunky, bumpkin-y, I don't know. Which would make sense, because it's pumpkin. It's bumpkin anyway so i just kind of wanted to show s some of the stuff that these people say and for one i wanted to show what he has to say and what he does hey link what do you think of the, of the new chandelier let me tell you this beauty set me back quite a bit you think i spent too much on it don't be a wet blanket it's thanks to your thanks to your hard work that i was able to buy such a stunner of a chandelier so don't break it anyway what can I do for you? If it's work you're after, I'm sure I can find something for you to do. Just for old time's sake. And of course, I'll pay you for, the, uh, for it this time. Want to make some money pa playing your harp for us? Or maybe you just want some soup. Soup. I'm impressed that a young man like yourself can appreciate the refined taste. Just 20, 10 rupees a bottle. Interested? Yeah, fill her up. You got some hot pumpkin soup. 
This homemade soup is Pum's specialty, but watch it. It'll get cold in five minutes. The soup's, soup is meant to be enjoyed hot. So, so just so you know, it'll be cold in just five minutes. So, let's go and see what we got for ten rupees. We got... Oh, it doesn't say how many hearts it replenishes. I'll put it on screen right now. But yeah, we can drink it, and... It seems pretty good. And for some reason, N Nintendo kind of has a thing about pumpkin soup. But also, I just want to talk to some of these people. Let's talk to him. It's nice having a bigger chandelier and all, but I think the thing's a bit too bright for my eyes. Okay, thanks, old timer, which his name is... Rasta. And he's an elder... Uh, elderly dreamer and husband to Henya, who works at the Night Academy. Okay. He's Henya's uh, husband. Now, okay. Just watch. He's an elderly dreamer and husband to Henya, who works at the Night Academy. He's also quite opinionated, and so not many people take this elderly man's opinion seriously. Now listen to what he says. This is, by the way, Keat. An oddly enough... An Oddly enough for Skyloft, he's a very normal boy. He's known to have an interest in Kina, the waitress at the Lumpy Pumpkin. Okay, now listen to what he says about Rasta. Just listen. I hear the sh chandeliers here because of all your ha your hard work. You aren't just doing it to try and pr impress Kina, are you? Okay, well that's not what I was talking about. What I was talking about is... Oh. Well, I guess we're going to have to leave and come back to show you. Just a second. Okay, now that we left and came back in, hopefully that will reset his conversation. Now listen to what he says. Oh, he doesn't say... Uh, man, I think I have it on recording, but what he said is that um, Rasta had seen a demon, which I think we talked to him earlier in the LP, and he was, talk he was mentioning um, that he knew something about the demon in Skyloft, which would be Batro. But... Okay, Keat says that Rasta is trying to get Kina's attention. So basically, he's trying to draw her attention by uh, making up stories. Question. One, he's an old man. Why is he Why is he trying to draw Kina's attention? And two, he's married. Well, to be fair, he's married to what is essentially a witch and someone who eats the children of Skyloft, but still, he's married, and he's an old man, and Kina's not old. That's just creepy. So, yeah, I just wanted to point that out, that he is a creepy man, and you don't look at him because he's creepy. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of, um, I'll tell a quick story. Yeah, I, I helped her out because I was trying to activate a quest, but I'll tell you a quick story. I used to main Ice Climbers in uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee, and, um, you know, I would use desyncs and stuff, and the funny thing was, is I fell into this habit. I didn't even really consciously try to do it or just to be funny doing this, but... Just suddenly, out of nowhere, I just started talking to Nana while I was playing. In competitive matches, no less. You know, like tournament. I just started yell- I would yell at Nana and talk to her. Literally, it was really weird. I don't know why I did it. And what are we doing? Oh yeah, Batro. I don't know why I did it, but I would talk to her. And it's just really weird because why was I talking to her? I don't know. Just a random story that I just- thought up. Okay, now I'm going... Uh, I'm not going to cut for this. We're going to go into Beatles, and we're going to buy some stuff. And then we're going to go see Batro, and then that'll be it for the episode, because I'm pretty sure that this... Where's the thing? Oh, here it is. I'm pretty sure the episode is fairly long, so... Hopeful, hopefully it's not. But hey, we got all the side quests done in two episodes, so you should be happy. All the side quests we need to do. So you guys should be happy, and because we have like 60 gratitude crystals, that means we only have four side quests left. So you should be even happier. Okay, so the first thing we want to get is 
this. The life metal. What kind of effects? Don't ask me, I don't... Okay, yeah, he, he says he doesn't know. But it's 800 rupees. Now, there's... Later on, you can get this for cheaper. But because I have so many rupees, I'm actually getting it now. So we're going to hold off on the bug metal, because I'm pretty sure that's 1,100 rupees. And, like I said, we there's something later on in the game that allows us to buy stuff from Beetle at a cheaper price. So we're going to hold off on that. But basically what it does is it will display all the bug locations on your map. Super useful, but I'm not getting it yet. Probably next time we're up here for up in Skyloft for side quests, we'll get it. But yeah, we're, we're gonna, not gonna we're not gonna bother right now. So I'll actually meet you at Batros. Be right back. Okay, here we are in Batros' house. I guess you could call it. Let's go ahead and talk to him and see what rewards we've gotten. Hey, Batro, what's up? Or Beatrix. Oh, you've gathered more a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent. Please take this as a token of this demon's deepest appreciation. You got the giant's wallet. This vol vol voluminous... The vo voluminous ca capacity of this wallet allows you to store a whopping 5,000 rupees in it. I only require a few more gratitude crystals to become human. Please help this needy demon a bit more. Can we talk to him again? Okay, it, he doesn't have anything else for us. So 70 is his next reward, and no. So now we can carry a total of 5,900 rupees. So that's really, really nice, and I kind of wish we came here first. Well, actually we couldn't. Oh, and a report master. Due to your sword's enhancements, it is now possible to use your dousing ability to detect feelings of gratitude. I've added gratitude crystals to your list of dousing targets. So, yeah. That's not useful anymore, because we only have... Four quests left, and that only applies to scattered crystals, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Next time on Skyward Sword, I... Well, we will go to the surface of the Elden region, find a trial, and get another sacred gift. Now, uh, between episodes, I will, um, I will work around our inventory, and actually, I didn't show it, but, in fact, I'll spoil it right now. No. There is a quiver in the, um, in the item shop, so we can get, go ahead and get that quiver, and then we can carry more arrows. So, also, I'll t put this shield in... I'll give that shield to Beatrice. Okay. See you next time, and thank you again for watching. May there be another really cool 40 episodes. See you then. So, we're going to show the other path of Beatrice's... Uh, I believe the... The name of this side quest is Crush or Crushed, which is very, very appropriate for what this side quest entails. So we're just going to go and talk to Peter, and he'll tell us to basically beat up whoever's bothering Beatrice, even if it's ourselves. So we're going to finish talking to him, and he listen through his delusional rant, and then we can talk to Beatrice. Come on. There we go. Or, no. Come on. Come on. L stop talking. Thank you. So let's talk to Beatrice. He says the same things that he did last time, so I don't feel like I should even read it again. But she will say something different. Hello, darling. Welcome. You've come to see me at home. I'm so happy. Okay. Really? I forgot again. 
Be right back. That's amazing! Wait, will it carry on till night? Please say yes. Please break. Oh, it didn't. That was amazing. It... The pot hung there. It, now, it would have been amazing if it had hung there till we woke up and then it would broken. Also, really, she has a heart and a keyhole on her bed as well. Uh, this girl needs to... She needs to do something. I don't know. Link, you came to see me. Thank you. The truth is, there's something I'm just dying to get off my chest, Link. I'm just going to ask you something point blank, okay? What do you think about me? You store items. Huh? M maybe I didn't ask you the right way. Okay, let me think here. What am I to you? A shopkeeper. Are you serious? How could you do that to me? Oh wait, I see what's going on here. You're just too shy to admit your true feelings, aren't you? No... No way! You have no feelings for me? All I am to you is some girl who stores your items? You really think that? Uh, yep. I understand. That's your answer. I'm sorry for causing you trouble. Don't... I don't need your sympathy. I'm fine. I'll get over you quickly. The next time we meet, I'll greet you as I would any old customer. But tonight, I want to be alone. Good night, my darling. I'm strong. I can get over you. Please let me be alone with the cold night now. Poor girl. Really, I, f I really feel sorry for her. Just look at her, she's... broken. <laughs> Let's talk to... her cruel... Uh, her cruel... father. That you, Link? What seems to be the problem? Or, sorry, my accent for him. My baby girl's as restless as a twisted sheet in the wind. Is there something in the water? You don't so say anything, you cruel, heartless... Um... Um, guy, I don't know. Okay, um, now you're probably wondering where are the gratitude crystals? Well, for that, you have to visit him at his place of business. At least he has the decency not to talk about how he's glad his daughter is, has a broken heart right in front of her. So you, you go to his place of business, aka his place of lazing around and not making any money because I do not like him. So, we'll be right back when we go to his, um, club house pad thing. Be right back. <laughs> what insult can I insult him with? That would work. That would also be he funny. And... <laughs> Da, 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 da. Let's see. Cruel, heartless monkey's uncle? No. Ruby Snatcher? Nah. Um. Gestapo Father. <laughs> Perfect. Nah, does that work? Hmm. Yeah. Nah, that doesn't work. What should I call him? Hmm. Diving, diving. We got friends in high places. Our skydiving squirrels are all around us. I can't rhyme. Because I can't grab my friends. We can grab the green and then we can get 20 rupees. When we, all we could do is just cut some grass. It's not worth it. 
in the slightest bit. That was a rhyme. So we'll go inside and interrupt the guy when all he's doing is being lazy. We'll talk to him and we'll insult him. <laughs> Honestly, I have. I don't think. Actually, you know what? I've never heard that song sung by the actual singer. In fact, I can't, don't even know who the singer is off the top of my head. <laughs> the only place I've heard it is some is people on their channel singing it in another LP, and also Tim Hawkins singing it. <laughs> I am a sad individual. Hey, Link, I got some news for you. Oh, no. My sweetie daughter's giving her good-for-nothing feller the boot. Of course, I feel for her. I hate to see her blue and all, but... <laughs> I'm pleased, pleased as punch, the egg swapping scamps out of the picture. Tell me true, Link. Are you responsible for breaking them up? Never mind, it makes no difference to me. I'm as happy as a loft wing in an updraft, I truly am. You cruel, heartless monkey's uncle. You got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. It must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. Helping people sure feels good. And I think that my southern accent might be the best accent I have. Let's talk to him again. See if he truly regrets making his daughter's life a living nightmare. How you doing, Link? Seems like that ma mangy mickle toast. I have no idea what that word is. Stop pestering my little dumpling. Let's celebrate by butchering some bamboo. One try will cost you 10 rupees. What do you say? <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> I'm sick of you and your accent and your face. I got it. You're too you're afraid of sharp objects. Not the not the slashing tight. Come back if you change your mind. Dude, look at the sword we have. Look at it. Does it look like that I'm afraid of sharp objects? Does it? You get winded I don't like you and your kind oh and by the way I'm not sure if I've shown this on screen but we can there is a statue here oh and by association this uh, Sheikah stone is going to have the same accent as Peter boing -ang. so actually that's pretty nice it'll give us a golden skull a real rarity among skull ornaments. It shines with an eerie golden color. And we finally have three. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to it. I'd, I'd really just want to continue doing this accent. You can get a valuable treasure if you could and succeed in cutting bamboo, the bamboo stock over 28 times at Clean Cut. Peter, who, who was formerly the teen heartthrob of Skyloft, claims to hold the record with 43 slices, or so he says. I am a western Sheikah Stone, not like them dumb eastern, eastern ones, or them northern ones. I'll slice this more times than you can blink. Slice and dice, baby. Slice and dice. Also, I was sw I'm swinging horizontally, and it's doing vertically. Anyway, I'll see you next time for another Pal Plays Skyward Sword. You are truly a heartless individual. I pity you. Stabity stab.